We're Andrew and Ashley, living in the Arizona high desert, building our off-grid homestead from scratch, powering our cabin with solar, hauling water, and taking on every project that comes our way. Follow along as we share our wins, struggles, and adventures as we carve out life off the beaten path. Okay, so we're over here. I've actually made now a door for the batteries. You see, batteries are in there. Um, I have some old um, moving blankets and stuff, so I think I'm just gonna stuff some blankets in there to kind of just, some like insulation kind of. Um, so now this is kind of protected, you know, protected from elements, and hopefully this winter the batteries can stay kind of warm I guess you know I don't know keep from freezing that's my objective but here's my uh, isolator switch for the arrays so right now let's see you see this batteries are at 77 percent see what are we getting input we're getting 1.4 kilowatts so 1400 watts um you know not a whole lot but it's still kind of early in the morning i think it's around nine or so so once the sun is more you know above <laughs> noon one o'clock is when it gets its most amount of power but i'm gonna uh Turn off the panels now. Let's just see. Boom. Off. There we go. Now there's no uh, solar input. So I should be good now to um, start disconnecting and doing everything I need to do over here. Um, so yeah, let's go. Let's go test this. Let's go check. If you had seen in my previous videos, I originally wanted to move these over here so they can get the morning sun, but I didn't have enough flex conduit and wire to kind of get me all the way over there. So I just decided to just move this third one over here and connect them and just leave them here for, for a while. Um, so yeah, let's just get this thing connected. Okay, so I actually didn't even need to extend anything. I thought I was gonna have to extend this panel to this panel, but it reached, you know? Um, and then you just daisy chain all the panels together. Positive, negative, positive, negative, you know? So I have that panel now connected into this one underneath and then starting, starting the process again um, daisy chaining, you know, the positive to this negative, this positive to this negative, and at the very end, the very last one is now the red positive uh, side of it, and then 
the opposite end way over here is the negative and this is going back to the inverter um, so I'm just gonna clean everything up with okay thanks babe breakfast break uh, so I'm just gonna go back in and put some of the wire right here into these little ties just to keep them off the ground a little bit you know nothing too crazy but I'm gonna turn the power back on should should work and now we just added three more panels to the array so we should be getting a lot more input well not a lot more each panel is 410 watts um, so yeah 410 times three more panels all right let's see what we're getting here input so our input now 2.35 kilowatts so around you know 2300 watts it was great which it was just what like 12 1200 so cool and this isn't even you know midday where the panels are getting the most amount of sun. This is, like I said, it's still early morning. It's like 9.30 or something like that. I don't, I don't know what time it is. Um, and me just connecting everything, I did that in like five minutes. So, cool. Got them all set up. Ashley just made breakfast, so I'm gonna take a breakfast break, go eat, and go back and clean up the wiring and I think our solar panels and stuff, I think will be good as far as power. Um, you know, solar panels, you know, take in the power. We now have two batteries nicely stored. I just need to put some, some of those uh, moving blankets I have in there to help keep them warm. Because again, it's starting to get really cold. And we should be, we should be good as far as power for a while, you know. Again, I don't know if you've seen any of our past videos, but we don't have huge power uh, needs. You know, the cabin, there's no lighting in there. We're not even in the cabin really anymore. We have now moved to the camper trailer and you know, the two batteries work fine. You know, we got some small LED lights, plenty of lighting. Our TV, we watch TV, we watch you know YouTube, we watch Netflix. We have our Starlink, which is always on now. So we always have internet connection. But that doesn't draw a lot of power. I think Starlink only draws like 70 watts at, at the most. So yeah, we're pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna go go eat and then finish up. All right, so here we go. I um, added some more bracing inside here. So I added one more board uh, back in there. I added this white one right in there. I didn't have one to go right here, but that's all right. Um, I added this one. It's actually underneath here because you can see the trench this is where like you know when it rains a lot the water just kind of flows through here and uh this leg right here was kind of just flopping down so i added this board as like a little bridge support just to hold it up just like it is over here on this side you know which keeps the panels more flat right before it was kind of dipping down a little bit so that's good. Um, I started adding this white uh, cable here. And this is just to ground them and connect them all together. 
So all the panels, I already tested them with the like continuity test. All the panels on one array are technically connected through this metal bracket because I drilled, you know, drilled holes and used hardware to mount them. So they are connected together. So I just needed to connect this array to this one and this one to this one. So I just kind of bridged them underneath. And then I added a grounding rod over here, but unfortunately I hit a rock <laughs> and I was pounding this thing in and you can see it's all bent. And it was about, I don't know, five feet or so, this, this rod, and it's sticking up about, I don't know, about a, a foot, foot and a half, something like that. So yeah, I tried to pull it out, but I, I just couldn't get it out. So I'm just gonna leave it for now. Uh, maybe I'll come and just cut it, and whenever I find a way to remove it somehow, um, I could do another one. But I guess I'm just gonna leave it for now, and hopefully something's better than nothing kind of a situation. Um. So yeah, now we have all three uh, solar arrays uh, up and working which is really good um, it's gonna start charging our batteries a lot faster and during the day whenever we need power now we have plenty of power so I know this is a quick video I just kind of wanted to um, do this update because the last video I didn't get this part done so I just kind of wanted to jump in real quick and um, show you this little process. So like most things on homesteads, this is just an ever evolving process of just doing what we can for right now to get us by and slowly building on it um, as time goes on, you know. Again, as we get more power needs, we can just keep adding to the system more panels, more batteries, more inverters, and just keep growing as we need uh, more power. But for now, this is this is pretty good. So, appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out this video, and we'll catch you in the next one.